Hello, hi, how are you? In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the new moon energy and what a deep dive it is. So this new moon, um, many people will begin feeling it ahead of time because it is a really deep dive. By deep dive, I mean that it's going to ensure that you are starting to address some deep things that maybe have been set on the side burner for a while or maybe you tried to override it and think it'll just go away, but it's going to make sure that you have to start being proactive about it. So this is this moon is going to be the beginning of how to cooperate with the process. A lot of people say things like trust the process, but I say cooperate with the process where you learn what to be proactive on and what things do you leave to your higher self. That can get very confusing. I'm here to break it down for you so that it's really easy. So with this moon, what I would suggest that you focus on are asking what is the deep thing that you need. If it's really too deep and it's like physically affecting you, you need to come see me and you need to have a session just straight up. You have to start investing in this because it's an investment in you. I've helped people with a lot of really deep things and it goes a lot faster using your light body than it does using psychology. And I'm not knocking psychology. There's a time and a place to talk about things and then there's a time to just get your light body going with what you're really here for. So the first thing to do is when you're asking and when you suspect and you have a suspicion of what is it, okay, you don't have to acknowledge it to anyone but yourself, but you acknowledge it and you say, I really need to buckle down and do this or that thing. What is this or that thing? Okay, for me, it is truly giving up coffee for a real month, not just three days at a time or five days at a time. Why? Because I could feel that the coffee was affecting my nerves. Now that might seem very minor to some people, but if you like coffee, you'll get it. My original version of coffee, which my dad made, you know, it's sort of like the church basement coffee where it just stays on the burner all day and it was not good. So I never really had coffee. But when I finally had a good cup of coffee, I was like, oh my God, that's what people are talking about. So you like things and yet how is it affecting you? Are you overindulging? Is there something you're overindulging in? Because this is going to, this moon energy is going to bring up aspects of overindulgence, doing things not from a place of love, either doing it by rote or, you know, things like having sex that you don't really want, but you're just going along with it. And maybe you get something out of it, but it's not really filled with love. Your soul's not really on board with that stuff either. So you can't just trust the process. You would be trusting your soul to move you, but you have to move with it. So you have to adhere to the process be proactive with it. There's also something to know. It is necessary to be honest with yourself when you're acknowledging something and just be like, you know what? My bad, I have to roll up my sleeves. I have to take care of this. And no matter what that is, do you need a medication? Then bite the bullet and do it. Do you need something that is proper for you? Do you need to change a venue somehow? Do you need to get out of your comfort zone because you're going to be budged out of your comfort zone. Why? Synergy is not comfortable. It's not really good feeling energy. It's making you really dig a little bit, you know, little excavation of what should it be. And it's important. Why is it important? Because you're important. You're important. You're an important part of this overall process. But for beyond that, you have things that you're bringing to the table. There are things that we're counting on you for. You are important. So how can you do this? Well, one is to do a cleansing inside. Cleansing inside cleans out the soulmates and their crap. So I'm going to say something to you. Refrain from foods that would be, you know, comfort foods for the collective. Around this time of year by now, it's summer. A lot of people have had their fill of 
summer holidays and summer vacation. You know, it's time to buckle down and to start cleansing out, cleanse out. How would you do that? Well, I have a juicing module inside my Twin Flame Ascension and Inner Healing. So if you check the link below, Twin Flame Ascension and Inner Healing, there is stuff in there about your electrolytes, about juicing, about intermittent fasting, how it pertains to you for your ascension. Now you can look at juicing people and they'll be like, let's make some mocktails. I can make mocktails, but I'm gonna tell you something else. There are specific formulations of juice to specifically help you with some of the things that are ailing you. And not only that, they have the life principle of delight and the love because they were you know, produced from fruits and veggies that are made with light and love. It's that simple. So check out my book to help you. And the focus should be clean your gut. Clean your gut with that. Now, another thing that you will probably feel in this lunar energy, this new moon energy is, this is a depressing moon. Why? Well, part of it is, is things change. And if nothing changes, then nothing changes. But part of it is collectively worldwide, there is a lot of strife and struggle going on. You can't help but notice it. You can't help but hear about it. It's hard to even know which corner of the world to talk about because it is all over. That kind of stuff is depressing. Like a wave of depression travels through the collective and it's not intended to drag you down. It is intended for you to ascend up out of it. You're not intended to be submerged with what's happening with the collective. Some of you have to get where you're going so you can do what you do best. And I would say, please make a wish for all to be unburdened from their struggles, their strife. Use this moon to be a part of your wish time. We do this all the time in my uh, full moon and new moon workshops that I do for just two days. We focus on some things for, you know, just that we would want to see to happen and put it out there. The next thing is having a real life. Okay. This new moon is intended to be some of those gateway to having a new life. What does your new life look like? It's not a life that you're living in limbo. So if you've gotten really comfortable just being like a solo person that just thinks like, you know, this is going to bump along forever. Hell no, because come September, things are really going to begin changing again. And as they say, seasons change and so can you. Seasons change. It's inevitable. There's a much shorter time span. You're in a time compression. You can make quantum leaps in this time compression too. You can literally feel like you have not lost two years of your time or three years of your time when you start to get into the new level. So a couple of things to help you. My book, Twin Flame Ascension and Inner Healing. Okay foundations for twin flame ascension and another one uh get your goddess energy back renew your energy get yourself up and running please see us for a one-on-one -on -one session we have books we there are readings and there is coaching available for your ascension now i would be remiss if i didn't tell you all of these things but yet being proactive investing in yourself Actually, you will find that it staves off. It is preventative. It is preparing you and it you learn how to cooperate. It empowers you. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you there. Bye.